Welcome, welcome. I had a lot of fun on the last run, but it was a little bit... Uh, well, here's another freaking go. We'll see what our cards are. It was a little bit less than uh, ideal, in a sense. For... Wow. Man, this is a great, like, Thorgate start. So we need science, 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 science. Energy, use energy, science. And then just make the most of we can out of this. I like this a lot. Can we get a turn 1, 13, 16, 31? We can. Dude, this is solid. Yeah, the last run, we there was potential for things. And it kind of just never landed in a way that I was happy with. It was, it was fine. We still won, which is like obviously a big, a big deal. But now... Now we're looking down the barrel of having a lot of science. And a lot of science is always fun. Not always fun, because sometimes you go through a lot of science and then the science doesn't come. But when you start with development center, research, and anti-grav, one, two, three, four, that's four of the tags towards the seven. Um, This is a science tag that helps with oxygen. So, sure. I like the idea of Dev Center, though, more. The mine's strong. And so is Vasta Shipyard, but we, uh, we have bigger fish to fry. So, 3 7 does not leave us enough for the Dev Center. But if we sell Heat Trappers, we can. Or I build the Dev. Not research. I build the, the development center first. Let's use it. And then, uh, oh, Mars University. Hey, oh. Um, is it worth losing a point for an energy income? Or is it worth selling that and getting a steel income? I think the steel income is more valuable than the one energy income despite it being like half off, but you lose a point, so you know, I'll take mine. Hey, oh, and now we're getting a free card every round, free after paying the one energy on it, which, you know, adds up to a heat bump eventually. Hmm. This would be powerful for us. But I think I want to power down the science. Duh. Mm, well, here's the thing. You can't do science without some income. So Electro Catapult is very powerful in that sense. $7 a turn. Basically, it's $5 of income once you've sell, sold this deal. To lose an energy... It's pretty good. Can't play it this turn. What do we play this turn then? I don't know, but we, we're going to take it. And we're going to take a card. Hmm. Algae's strong, but it's not strong enough. I was going to Mars University to flip the algae, but there's no rush to do that. So we're going to take our money to the next round. We have 8 heat now, which is a big deal. It's a slightly big deal. It's not actually a big deal, but... A titanium mine, industrial microbes, income cards, you know? I think we take them. It puts off our research, but we don't have the cards yet anyway. So we do that. The reason I'm willing to take both those income cards is because I'm pretty sure we can afford them because we can sell a steel for five or seven bucks, right? And then we get a little bit more. We'll get microbes first because that'll help us pay for the titanium mine. Next turn. Oh, I should have grabbed the card. Always grab the card first. You never know. Hackers, normally not willing to play it. I said that last time I played it. This time it's early enough and we have the energy because we're Thorgate. So we will take the money. 
and we'll pump this up. So now since we're at $9 a turn coming in, but then selling a steel for seven more. Like that is very substantial. We just gotta keep our energy income above one, so we keep getting our card. Hmm. We have this that we wanna build, and that costs steel. So, grabbing the steel event is a win. Grabbing this event is also really powerful, but we're not gonna do it. Because we already have some passive cards coming in. So we're not willing to spend as much. And look at that, a science tag. So we do that. We're gonna do this. Then we go one, two, three, four. What do we have to flip? I know we have something. Flip the algae. We're not close to five oceans, so it doesn't hurt my feelings. And then it's just a question of, we can't get both of these, despite being close. This is a lot of energy. We can get both. I thought we were a dollar off, but I just can't math when it's important to math. It's like the other day when I had that card and I couldn't play it and I was all upset because I thought the game was bugged, but no, you were just missing a dollar. But then when I clicked the card, the error prompt was, you know, all the things were not met. And that was not true. The things were met. The problem was something else. That's a science tag. We have one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven science types. It's kind of weak. Hard to get them out. But we'll do it as like a just in case tag. Remember, we have seven more dollars coming in, so we're not actually as broke as it seems. Uh, wow. That's a lot of energy income that we could get from that card, too. It's giant space mirrors. Um, but I think we want to do the research first. And we'll get rid of the Great Dam. For, no, we'll get rid of Sabotage. And then we'll get rid of... Open City. Flooding and stuff, these are all nice cheap cards. What gets us to the science goal faster? Basically just playing the science cards, right? We want the energy production. I don't think we need more energy production. So when I play this card, I'm going to do it for the plant, which I almost never do. Then we'll get rid of flooding. This is definitely a more interesting game. There's a lot more going on as we jostle our way up to get anti-grab technology, which is such a high payout. Like it's $2 off of every card you play. And if you play two cards around, that's four dollars of income, right? Like, you play a lot more cards in general, but getting an energy income is basically getting heat income. Doing that for two bucks is kind of ridiculously good. And a search for life is just a better way of getting a science tag for us. So then we do this. We get... this science tag first because it's free because we have titanium that we've been building we're gonna get rid of the great dam mostly because the giant space mirrors are gonna give us the energy if we need it then we build this for three few game state we are we are at the seven we need so i don't think viral enhancers is actually a great card it was more of just a let's pick this up in case now we do anti grab loan is good methane is good though the loan could help us get something this turn we're far enough away from that ocean that I'm gonna trash that did I not I didn't grab our card 
Gotta grab the card, bro. Aquifer pumping, that's great. Peroxide power, the loan. We could trash our, our money income this turn. But what will we get out of it? Like, here's an energy income. I mean, it is, think of it as heat. So I would I would do this trade, and especially since I can use a steel. But getting $10 this turn, does that actually get us something? It gets us a convoy from Europa? Which we could do for two more cards. And it gets us the TR. No, it does not get us that because we'd be a dollar short. So we'll just search for life, and we'll hold on to our loan. Decomposers. We got life. Look at that. It actually works from time to time. So now our income is, you know, 19. But again, again, I keep saying it. We get seven more dollars for selling this deal. It's pretty freaking great. Micro mills for four dollars. Would you spend four dollars to get six heat? Yes. The Jovian stuff is cool. Would you spend seven dollars to get two dollars six times? Yes. Would you get pets? No. Would you get the Jovian stuff? No. Oh, we can't even build nothing from Titan because we need oxygen. Let's get a card. Dust seals for free, sure. Sell the steel. Oh, we don't need to search for life anymore because it already has one on it. You can only ever get the one. Um, I think Convoy from Europa is our best play here because it'll get us three cards. Cartel. How much do we have for tags of Earth? This is pretty good. I'm just trying to figure out if we, how much of it we can do. Like this we do for the steel, so it's obvious. Then this is a dollar, and then that's six dollars. And then I do the ultimate sin. I spent, I lose a money production and a dollar this turn to get two points from physics complex no I can't do that we need we need the heat so I won't be spending six heat or six energy to make two points <laughs> I won't do that to you guys I did think about it though and I'm an awful human being for doing it because I just love that score it's so efficient oh radchem is good it can use our steel io mining is good but it's, is it late? Because it feels late. We have no Jovians, so it's definitely not worth the price. I mean, this is just, this Lightning Harvest is awesome. Radchem is pretty good. Put them together, you get some, some pretty good stuff. We really need to worry about oxygen. Let's see what we can grab. I like the imported hydrogen. Card in hand is better than, you know, a potential card. But restricted area? Like, we have cheap cards, so getting cards is good. Um, I feel like methane from Titan is not worth the price. Well, it's too plant income. Physics Complex is like the quote-unquote obvious one, but it's so good for us as far as points are concerned. But I'll do it. I hate doing it, but I will do it for you, dear viewer. No, no, I'm sad. But you gotta, you gotta keep cards flowing. You gotta get through the deck. You gotta get the good cards out. Um, I'm debating the aquifer pumping this turn. where first of all heat the planet because that's just a fantastic play well I definitely want lightning harvest and radcam 
that those are just great oh I meant to click the button and I did not click the button could have two more dollars right now I mean it's gonna go into aquifer pumping but If I build this and I put it here, I can discard and draw a card. We can almost play this, and it's a good plant tag. It's actually plant income. I'm just trying to figure out like 26 bucks to get, if we got it next turn, four production, so a greenery and a heat bump. That is worth it. So we'll get rid of Noctis. Earth Catapult. How do I get you, Earth Catapult? I can't get you this turn. But I can get the Aqua for pumping this turn. I think I buy a card. That's a good card. Alright. Yeah, now we pass. Ooh. Generation 10, time to start terraforming. These are good. Let's do the actions. Get a card. Get a card. Sell a steel. We really need that plant income just to get to get itself together here. Grass, worms. Okay. Time to start terraforming means time to buy Earth Catapult. As you all know, it's code. Same thing. Now we have minus four on every card. So it's really just a matter of can we get cards that are worth playing? I really would like to get two oxygen. So we can get our methane from Titan. So I think how we accomplish that is with the loan. Then we get this. Or is there... This actually could potentially be better. Because we grab those two plants. We get two from the thing. We put this here. So that's at two oxygen now. Sadly, we do not have enough to build it. So we get a little bit more income. What's the, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm nervous about our oceans. So nervous, in fact, that I will do the ocean finally. Because it's it's really how many times can we use our eight dollar action, and we can only do it five already. So we need such a great city spot already. So I'm gonna start making this nook. We don't have a lot of income. Like that's what scares me. We got good heat coming in because of all that spillover energy. And we got not a lot of income, but we got a lot of cost reduction. Here's two more oceans. Goes a long way. In the ocean game. We're gonna do that. Should have bought cards first, you never know. Maybe one of them had a heat requirement. I'm always selling the steel. Because a plant is important for us. We can get methane from Titan, and it's now six and six for as far as value is concerned. And that's really good. Grass is important because I'm worried about our oxygen. Did we already buy this? We did not. So if we put this here, we get a little bit of money back.
I want to get both of these, but I don't think I can. Well, I can sell a card, right? Any card? Sell a card. Any card. Like Predators, for example, would be a very good sell. Well, do we have microbe tags? This is a plant income for four bucks, so I will keep that card. So we will sell predators. I mean, honestly, I should probably sell space mirrors, but. Yeah, what am I doing with space mirrors? Like, I kept it for reasons, but now we don't need it. I mean, we don't need predators either. Let's be let's be brutally honest. But like, predators opens up one point animals, which is like potentially a lot of points. Surprise! Matt's thinking about points again. But for real, it's a it's very good. Okay, this is a little bit spicy. A little bit spicy. Need some good cards here. Generation twelve. We got a lot done in generation eleven. <laughs> I mean, you know, we're going to take that. And we'll take Heather. And we'll take the heat bump. Acquired companies nine bucks to get six bucks. I don't think so. So that unlocks Heather. Again, I did the heat bumps before doing all of my other better actions, i.e. Let's grab some cards. Is any of I should play the obvious cards. We should build an ocean. I'm gonna fill this out with greeneries before worrying about this city spot. Um I mean kelp farming is a must. I was just trying to think of like what card would I get rid of. Look, oh, now we got worms. Which sounds like a bad thing, but it's not. I hate being one plant away. This turn kind of just played itself. Like I just did every action that was like the most valuable in a given moment. And it turned out it was it was fine. This is good for us because if we do build a city here, I'll put a greenery here, and then this will be a greenery, or city, city, and greenery. I don't know. Obviously, I think a city over here is better, but this just felt right. It allows me to build that pocket. So we have two greeneries in hand. We got two heat bumps in hand. Generation 13. Do we need the nuke? And do we want ecology? I mean, do we want to lose our energy production? This is good. This is good. And that's a city that's cheaper, right? Sure. Again, seems suicidal to divert that many resources to non-terraforming exercises, but this is a good spot for a nuke, though, so I gotta do that. But let's, before, get the cards. It, it's a spicy run. It's definitely, it's definitely spicy. Ooh, Arctic Algae's dead, which is too bad, but... This is this is good for us. Things like the nuke are neutral on points, but it's cheaper to actually terraform the planet, which is great when you're planning on getting points from non-terraforming things. That's a fun fact for you right there. Let's 
go here with this. Really fires up the plants. Let me go here. So we're going to get that free heat bump. So we are going to get that ocean. Let's go here with the greenery. Because we're now we're kind of getting through. And I'm going to saw it up around here. Because I want to save our adjacency bonus uh, monies now. Who knows? Maybe we'll get capital and we'll just throw it down here or something. I don't know. It's not a great capital. but Oh, we have Lake Mariners. I think I knew that and then I forgot. Uh, we should do it. We should totally do it. We'll go up here, we'll get some money, and we'll get money in a card. Should have looked at the card first and then potentially grabbed this. This is slightly more money, just looks less flexible. Mining rights. It gets us over here into this bed of greens. It's pretty cheap. I'm okay with the Lagrange Observatory first, though. This lets us get a card and swap a card. So we'll go over here. Ooh, large convoy. Not great for us because we don't need the ocean, but great for us because, you know, points. And if we play predators, which we still have, it's all right. Med lab is a point. It'd also be like a bunch of money. But I can't get both without selling a card. But I think selling a card makes sense. Well, I also like this, though. How many plant types do I have? Four. So I do these ones. This is a bad card for us. I just, like, you don't... We'd make... Well, we'd make six bucks worth of titanium for five bucks and then be over there, but... Not a huge fan. So we could sell this and get a little bit of plant in. Or we could do this and this. And then this gives us two production. And then this gives us five. Hey, oh. So that's like three greeneries here. We definitely have two heat. We're still not there, is the crazy part. We are not there. We need like two more oxygen and two more heat. Oh, we can scoop so much off the board too, though. Livestock and the capital, both discussed, and gene repair. None of which helps terraform. But I want to grab, well, what do I want to do? See, here's the thing. I can't. I cannot. Like, I wanted to grab livestock, because that's just a better kind of predators. And then you, you know, throw down the large convoy. You get four animals from it. Woo, woo, woo. But we don't have the money for it. Capital, on the other hand, I think... No, I just can't do it. I just can't do it, and I hate it. I want it. I want it so bad. Oh, I should have bought my cards. Surprise. I always do the heat for some reason. I always catch myself before anything else, but the heat just can't seem to can't seem to not do it. This back card, this is uh this is good. Three bucks to pick two cards. Doesn't matter. I can't Ganymede Colony maybe, but like I don't know, I can't do this. So. We need to pick up three plants. Which we can't do without just just missing. We're gonna go this way. Closer to the plants and other reasons. Other reasons being that if we did ever get a city, you know, we could put it here, and it's actually four points because, you know, this thing. But 
They're still not there. Like, ugh. So. This is a green ring for 30 bucks. $26 because it gives us five plants. And then the two cards, I think it's actually worth it to do it this way. The cards could be a big deal. Big asteroid. Yo. We'll even go here to get a titanium to help pay for it. That was huge. See, people people get upset when I go so deep on cards. They're like, but what if uh, the cards in your hand? And it's like, yo. Well, actually, was that good? Because now we're still short on oxygen. Well, I'm a scrub. Huh. <sighs> And there's no way to really get it either. Right? Is there a way to get it? I mean, let's be real. The, the giant ice, the giant asteroid or whatever, big asteroid, was cheaper than hitting 14 twice. How are we short on oxygen with 16 freaking plant income? We sell all these cards, we have eight fucking, excuse me, eight bucks more, which is not enough. Instead of grabbing this titanium in a plant, I could have grabbed six bucks here, and then we would have enough. Because titanium is worth three, and six bucks is worth six. And then we sell everything we have, and we buy a green ring. Or potentially I could have bought the green ring first and then did the big asteroid. Man, this is just so garbage. Why do I feel so crummy about it? Like, actually, though. So you always gotta do your greeneries before you do your heat. I just got excited because we actually got a card that helped. Which is like not a thing that happens to us. And like we could do this and then fake five bucks back. Yee. So damn. What how many Jovians do we have? One. So we'll take this. I don't like that it doesn't count that we have all this extra frickin' um, stuff. Like 16 plant income. Like, <laughs> I don't like it. Just look, there's the greenery right there. There it is. There it is. So, bam, bam. No longer have any plants. Done. This game is over. Great game. Spicy. Spicy game. You get so close to the end, and then you, you slip for a second. For one second. And you get excited because something good happens. And then you lose. Ugh, I think that's why I keep coming back and playing more. At the end of the day, it was at least entertaining. It's going to look bad in the logbooks that that was a loss. But, ugh, 105 on a win or on a loss, would have been, well, we got like six points at the end there instead of getting two, so, instead of getting one, so it would have been a 100 point win, 
and it would have felt bad to get a 100 point win, but it feels way worse to get a 105 point loss. Oh my god. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.